Let's see how long this goes before a kitty cat interferes. Hi, everybody. Um, so today we are looking at MP2, Cyberfront City Commander, Ultra Magnus. Yeah, um, I got MP2 <laughs> figure. I never, ever, ever thought I would even consider getting. But here we are. So I don't actually, um, part of the reason I got this was because I don't have a Takara version of this mold at all with the longer smokestacks. And MP01 or MP04 does not go for prices I would ever buy a figure that I technically already have for. But MP02, I don't have MP02, so this price, okay. The price I found this guy for, yeah, I can justify it because I technically don't have MP2. I keep saying MP02, it's, it's just MP2, but this was the second Masterpiece figure. Ultra Magnus, technically. Um, yeah, this figure comes from an era where Ultra Magnus, for a long time... Yeah, yep, here's here's a kitty. Um, was just... They didn't give him his... There are two kitties. They didn't give him armor. He was just Optimus Prime repainted white. So, that's... What this figure is too. Girls, come on. Come on. Come on. Go on, kitties. Go on, babies. But <laughs> um, they eventually did do, you know, MP22 and all that, but this was first. So, front of the box, it's very nice. So, you know, it's a Masteries box. You have Ultra Magnus here, MP2 Cybertron City Commander, Ultra Magnus. Side of the box, back of the box, you have him. You have. Actual Ultra Magnus. Hey, you know, all these gimmicks. Well, you actually have a cardboard trailer. Which I will not be showing because I am never, ever going to do that. But all the features. Back of the box. Top of the box. Bottom of the box. There we go. So here he is. And it's the same as the MP01 figure we reviewed. Geez, two years ago now? I feel like it's been. But this one has the longer smokestacks, so. There you go. That's the, aside from the color scheme, that's the only difference between this one and the American version of the MPL1 mold. They shortened the smokestacks. Um, that's, that's it. Same exact features, same exact everything. He has the same, um, geez, what's the word? You know, I'm going to think of it later. But you can still do that. I, oh, it's going to bother me. I know the word, too. It's good. Anyway. And he still rolls very well because he's got the rubber tires. That's about it. That's all he really does in this mode. Um, um, again, he's still um, not, he's not a perfect truck. It's an MP22 does the truck mode better for Ultra Magnus. But, you know, for the time. This this figure came out in 2004, 2005. It was a little bit... It, it took a little bit after MP01 to get this guy out. But um, accessory-wise, he has the same exact ion blaster. A repainted Megatron gun, which mine didn't crack right out of the box. So maybe they fixed the QC up on this one? I don't know. I legitimately don't know, but it's got all the same features. And he also has the Energon X. So, there you go. Um, transforming him is exactly the same as MP01. So, we're going to go ahead and pull the legs out. Separate said legs, push the trailer hitch in, open knees up, suspension is the word. <laughs> open those up, turn that around, push that in, push that down. Then 
There we go. We got his legs. All set. Turn him around. Push these pieces forward. Pull this back. And pull the arms out. There we go. Open the chest up. Pull that piece back. Push the seat down. And flip out his head. Push up the antennas. Close the back up. Push this up. Turn this around. Turn these pieces around. Pull that up. Push that in like that. Push that down. Push that up. Push that in. Right, got these turned around. So we can go ahead and close these up. Okay. Push these down. Push those up. Push that in. Turn the waist around. Close up the chest. Point the camera up. We're almost done here. Close these pieces on the back up. Make sure they're fully closed in. There we go. Now for the hands, I've always... Um, I've always said this is very hard for me, so I always get to pry those open, but those got to come out. Remove the thumb. Sorry about that. <laughs> Push that up. Boom, boom. There we go. MPO2 Ultra Magnus in his robot mode, and he's still a he's still a nice looking robot mode. This just it's not that it's a bad robot mode. It just this the white Optimus Prime design does not feel like Ultra Magnus to me personally. I know I'm not the only one that thinks that, but the whole white colorization just. This is supposed to be Ultra Magnus. Does not work for me. Like, as a base design, he looks cool. Like, just as a base design, it looks cool. But it does not feel like Ultra Magnus. This was somebody else. Or if Ultra Magnus was just always this, it would be fine. But... Because the G1 toy did it. It is what it is. <laughs> but now, that being said, on camera... Looking at the camera, he actually looks really cool. The design itself is really awesome, but it just doesn't feel like Ultra Magnus. I think of Ultra Magnus, I don't think of the, the white Optimus Prime, I think of the big dude in the blue armor. That's that's what I think of. But articulation wise, it's exactly the same as MP01. So arms on full 360, pull the arm out and go in and out the shoulder. Bicep turn. Elbow, and he's got the hydraulics still. Wrist can turn. He's got individual moving fingers. His elbow is on a, an elbow. His thumb is on a ball joint. His legs, if you move the skirt forward, can go forward. They can go back. And they can go out. They can turn up here. He's got a double knee joint, which is awesome. And it's also got that hydraulic thing going on, which is really cool. He's got an ankle tilt, a little bit because on a ball joint. He's got a toe. He's got a waist swivel, which is partly for the transformation, but you can still use it. And his head is on a ball joint, so full 360, can look up, can look down a little bit. So he's got, he's still, he has a decent bit of articulation. Which he had a great amount of articulation for the time. Um, but gimmick-wise, he has all the same gimmicks as MPL1, so he still has the wrists communicators, which on this one, this sign, he's got Optimus Prime. And on this side, he's got... Some, like, radar type thing. So there's that. Um, he also still has the Matrix, so. It is removable.
It's not supposed to be this complicated, but you can get it out. Ugh. <laughs> it's probably, I guarantee it's going to be a lot easier to get back in than it was to get out. Pause. Um. I have now done that. Wipes. Oh, boy. Yeah, this video is going so well. Okay. Now that we've got everything back to the way it's supposed to be, here's the matrix. It does open, which is cool. Now we're going to put it back in there. And something I wasn't able to show you the light-up feature does work on this version. So that's awesome. Oh, he also still has the uh, the opening mouth gimmick, but uh, I love the fact that he has the light-up feature. Um, and I know this piece is removal, so I'm actually probably, after this video, going to take that piece out and put it in my um, Optimus. He can still hold the gun. And I'll admit, he does hold his gun... At least on mine, he holds his a lot better than Optimus does. So that's one thing I can say for sure. That this version definitely has at least that going for him. That he holds the gun better. Other than that though, um, he's literally the exact, aside from the color scheme, he's the exact same figure. So speaking of... Here he is with um, MP01, the American version. Um, and you can see that aside from the elongated smoke sets, which I do like, they're the same thing. They're the exact same figure. Um, I personally like Optimus more. Because, well, one, I like Optimus more than Ultra Magnus. But the red and blue color scheme works better for me than the white one. As a figure, it's not bad. It's actually a very good figure because it's the same mold. But it does the, to me. It does not feel like Ultra Magnus. Um, nowadays, there's no reason to get this thing at all, um, unless you're a completionist and you want two of this mold. If you just want this mold, get Optimus. I mean, or I mean, you can get this version instead because there are three Optimus Primes in the MP line. There are only two of Ultra Magnus. So if you want two of multiple characters, then you know here's a second Ultra Magnus for you. Um, again, I, for this mold, I prefer MP01. For Optimus, I prefer MP44. For Ultra Magnus, I prefer MP52. MP22, rather. Um, that's just me. Um, as a figure in and of itself, let me clarify. He's a great figure in and of itself. He's an awesome mold. He's a great mold. He's, the mold is aged relatively well. Does not feel like Ultra Magnus, but if you just want another version of this mold he's not a bad choice and he's not super duper expensive compared to some other guys um um if you could find him for like the 150 mark he's probably worth a pickup because he is a big toy and he's got a lot of metal in him um but if you uh, want a masterpiece ultra magnus go with a p22 um, if you want this mold, probably get this guy. If you like, I mean, if you like this color scheme, if you prefer this color scheme, then go for this mold over the, ver this version of the mold over this one. If you like this color scheme, better go over, go over this one over this one. If you like, if you like Ultra Magnus more than Optimus, go for this one over this one. If you like Optimus more than Ultra Magnus, so, yeah, there, there are reasons to get both over both. One over the, there's always a reason to get one over the other. I personally like this one better, just because I like Optimus better. 
But if you like Ultra Magnus more, this is the one to go for. I can't keep repeating myself with that, but there we go. Um, anywho, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm going to go ahead and swap the Matrix gimmicks out. And we'll have Optimus being able to learn Darkest Hour. But thank you guys so much. Take care.